Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to take a look at a capacitor in a very simple circuit, just a simple capacitor. We're going to have a time varying voltage applied to the capacitor and we're trying to find the current through the circuit. The capacitor has capacitance of 20 microfarads and the input voltage is time varying. It has a maximum voltage of 20 volts times the cosine of 50 T plus 40 degrees. 50 is the angular frequency and the feed of the uh, phase angle is 40 degrees. So what we could do is we could take the general form of the voltage input, which we have over here, but this is in general form, and we can use this equation where the current to the circuit is simply equal to the capacitance times the VDT because we simply have one device, just a capacitor, and that will be the current through the capacitor. So to find the current in the circuit, we can simply use the equation where we have the capacitance times the rate of change of the voltage with respect to the time. And when we do that, we get this function right here. We get minus omega C times the maximum voltage times the sine of omega T plus V. And then if we convert that back to the cosine, notice the negative drops off and we have to add a 90 degree phase angle. And then we can simply plug in the numbers and find the current in that circuit with respect to time. Or we can do it like this. We can go ahead and take the equation that we have for the voltage with respect to time and convert it to the frequency domain. That's rather simple. We can simply say that voltage is equal to the maximum voltage and express the phase angle. So in this case, the maximum voltage would be 20 volts and the phase angle would be 40 degrees. The next thing we need to know is the relationship between the voltage and the current in a capacitor circuit or with a capacitor. And we can say that the voltage is equal to the current divided by J omega C. Basically, omega C is the reactance in the circuit across the capacitor. Once we have the equation like this, we can solve this for the current in the frequency domain. So I is equal to the voltage multiplied times J omega C. And now we're going to write the expressions. We have the voltage in the frequency domain expressed like this. So the current I is equal to 20 with a phase angle of 40 degrees. And we're going to multiply this times J omega C. Now omega times C, that gives us the amplitude. Omega is 50 and C, the capacitance is 0 0.00002, like this. And then J, of course, gives us a phase angle of 90 degrees. And if we multiply these two together, we multiply the amplitudes together and we add the phase angles together. So I is equal to, that would be a thousand times this, so 0 0.02 with a phase angle of 40 plus 90, which is 130 degrees. And then finally, here we have the current in the form of, uh, or in the what we call phaser domain or in the frequency domain. And now we can want to convert that back into the time domain. So now we're going to make the conversion back to the time domain. So in the time domain, the current that we have right here in the phasor domain or the frequency domain can be converted to, this is the amplitude, so I as a function of time is equal to the amplitude which is 0 0.02 times the cosine of omega t which is 50 t plus the phase angle, and the phase angle is 130 degrees. And then this, of course, will be in amps. And there is the result of using the conversion first from the time domain to the frequency domain, do all our calculations in the frequency domain, and then convert back to the time domain. And of course, we should get the exact same result as we got when we simply took the current as being the capacitance times the rate of change of the voltage with respect to time. Either way, this is simply staying in the time domain and this is converting from the time to the frequency domain and then reconverting back into the time domain. And that's how it's done.